Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about object functions in C++. And you'll also hear people refer to these sometimes as like instance functions. Um, and essentially what this is, is it's a function that we can put inside of one of our classes. And then the different objects of that class can use that function in order to either, you know, find out information about themselves or modify information about themselves. So I'm just gonna give you guys a, a sort of introduction into how to do this. Now over here, you'll see that I actually set up a class and this class is called student. And this is essentially just a template for like what a student is going to be in our program. And I've said down here that a student is going to have a name, a student's going to have a major and a student is also going to have a GPA. So that information is sort of like what defines a student in our program. And then down here, I created a constructor, which basically just allows um, whoever's creating these objects in order to pass in some initial information. And we're passing in a name, a major, and then also a GPA. So I'm essentially just um, using this constructor as I normally would any other constructor. So this is our student class. And then down here in my main method, you'll see that I actually have a couple of students. So I created a student called student one. His name is Jim, he's a business major, and his GPA is 2.4. And then I have another student, student two, her name is Pam. She's an art major and she has a GPA of 3.6. So these are now two students that I'm working with and I'm uh, sort of representing inside of my program. So that's awesome. So let me show you guys um, how we can use these different object functions. Um, let's say that we wanted a way to figure out whether or not one of these students was on the honor roll, right? So let's say that at the school that these students attend, there's an honor roll, right? And let's say that the rules for being on the honor roll is you need to have a GPA of 3.5 or above. So if you have a GPA of 3.5 or greater, that means that you're on the honor roll. And let's say that we wanted to have an easy way to figure out whether or not a specific student was on the honor roll. Well, what I could do is I could actually create a function up here in my student class, which each of the objects could use to tell if they were on the honor roll or not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here below the constructor and I can basically just create a function like I normally would. So we can give this a return type and I'm gonna give this a Boolean return type and I'm gonna name this function has honors. And this function is basically gonna return a true or a false value. It will return true if the student has honors, right? It will return true if the student has a GPA of 3.5 or greater. If they don't, it's gonna return false. So over here, we're not gonna to have to take in any information. We don't need any parameters. I'm gonna make an open and closed curly bracket. Now down here inside of this function, we need to figure out if the object has honors. So I can just use an if statement. I'm just gonna say if, and I'm basically just gonna say if GPA is greater than 3.5, or actually if GPA is greater than or equal to 3.5, then we're gonna come down here and we can just return true. Because if this code gets executed, that means that they have a GPA of 3.5 or greater. And then otherwise, if that's not the case, we can just return false. So that's essentially all this little function is gonna do. It's very simple. If they have a GPA of 3.5 or greater, return true, otherwise return false. Now, what's cool about this function is each of the objects that I create can call this function. And depending on their specific GPA, it's gonna return a different answer. So for example, let's go ahead and call this on our first student, Jim. So I can just say, C out, I just wanna print out the answer. Um, and I can just say student one dot has honors. So now if I wanna figure out whether or not Jim has honors, I can just call this function. I can say student one dot has honors. And now this is gonna print out whether or not Jim has honors. So you'll see over here, we're printing out a zero. And just a tidbit, whenever you print out Boolean values, if it's a false, it's gonna get printed out as a zero. If it's a true, it's gonna get printed out as a one. So the fact that we're seeing a zero here means that um, student one doesn't have honors. And we can do the same thing for Pam. So we could do the same thing with our other student. I could say student two dot has honors. And now this should be true because Pam has a GPA of 3.6. So Pam is gonna have honors. What's cool about doing this is that this function is gonna be using different information depending on which object is calling it. So when the Jim object calls it, the GPA is Jim's GPA. When the Pam object calls it, the GPA is 
Pam's GPA. So we can define a general function over here in our class and depending on the object that calls it, it's gonna be giving or doing different things. So the GPA is gonna be different depending on if Jim's calling it or if Pam is calling it. And that's kind of why these are cool. So you can make all sorts of these little functions and generally people will make these to get information about the object. So for example, figure out whether or not they have honors or modify values. And in future tutorials, we're gonna look at functions which are gonna be modifying the values in our uh, classes. But hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with these. So, you know, and in a lot of cases, you're gonna wanna have different functions inside of your classes that are gonna do stuff. Now, I do wanna just point out one more reason why these are cool. So let's say that I have this program written and you know I'm using all these different students and maybe I have a program that like calculates who's on the honor roll or something. Well, let's say that one day the dean of the school comes to me and he's like, hey, Mike, we're gonna change the qualification for honors. So now, instead of everybody with a 3.5 and greater is gonna have honors, we're just gonna say everybody with a 2.0 and greater is gonna have honors. In order for me to make that change in my program, in other words, in order for me to update that information, all I have to do is go over here and change this to 2.0. And now all of the code in my program is still gonna work and these has honors are still gonna work, but now the bar for having honors is gonna be lowered. So I could say student one dot has honors, and now this is gonna be true because we changed the qualification. So now we get a one. And that's kind of why these are powerful. You can kind of adjust different information and you know control different things about the overall class and about every instance of the class uh, using these functions. So hopefully that is clear. Hopefully you know you have an idea now of what you can do with these different object functions. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.